Hello, this is Lucky Phillips. I have a 1993 Airbus by Rex Hall. It is, I believe, 34 to 36 feet long. Not sure exactly what the dimensions are. When I got this thing, it was a cover, a blanket, totally wrapped around the sofa. When I took it off, the sofa dang there looks like it's brand new. Not a lot of wear on it. There's no cigarette holes or anything in it. This chair swivels to the front, to the rear. There's a table here on the side. It folds up. You can turn your chair around there on both sides and you can have like a little breakfast nook there if you want to turn this chair around. It has adjustable head reds on the headrest on the back. Got a little locking uh, dash there. Drink racks, two of them, one on each side. This is not photo laminate finish wood. This is solid wood finish. Nowadays when you buy an RV you get all that swelled up sawdust board that has a photo laminate finish on the outside. Television. I've never figured out how to get the power to come on to the TV. When I have it plugged in I push the button it does not come on. Inside the cabinet here. The wiring and whatnot for the uh, television. There's a place to put cassettes, place to hang an old cell phone. That's your air gauge. This is an air ride suspension bus. The air conditioner there does not blow cold in the dash. I may have a chance to take a look at that and for the asking price I may have that fixed so we can negotiate. The generator has 366 hours on it which is basically nothing for a 1993 bus. It has 66,000 miles on it. It has adjustable mirrors. There's a door on the driver's side, which I think is the best thing you could ever do. It's nice to be able to hop in and out there quick, go back and check something quick. CB radio. This chair also swivels to the back. The carpets are in pretty darn good shape. I did not clean the carpets. I gave them a quick vacuum. They're not all stained up. They show no heel or toe wear marks. There's no cigarette burn holes in the carpet. This is the controls for your coach. Turn your main battery power on and off. One of the main wear points on a bus like this is right here on the corners. People come up the steps in the edge of this corner here puts a lot of wear there. There's no wear on the corners. These cushions fold down into a place for two people to sleep. The cushions look like brand new. There's no delamination on the uh, table here, which is very rare for an older RV. The Venetian blinds aren't all wrinkled up, bent up. They are a hard wood blind. They're not cheap tin like in RVs you sign today. Inside of the cabinets there is carpeting on all the cabinets. I'm not going to do every door. There's all the books, the owner's manual for the RV. Everything you need to know about, it, uh, about this RV is in that book. It has fine glass kitchen cabinets. It's got a convection microwave oven. So you can use this as a normal oven if you want to bake a cake in there. It's got the rack. It's all nice and stainless steel and very clean on the inside. It's got a four burner stove. It's not all stained up. It looks very well. This is your kitchen sink. It's got a, marble, a uh, mirrored back glass. It's got a uh, mount under the counter coffee machine there. We took the time to put a little piece of stuff in there to keep it nice. This is a nice clean RV. This is a wooden double door refrigerator. It works. It's cold right now. Currently, I'm not sure. It's below 30 degrees, 28 to 30 degrees there. 
The door handle is missing on the left side for the freezer, but it does still open. This is frozen. That's coating of ice on the inside there. Gauges for your refrigerator. air. It's got the hardwood floor. It's not a cheap laminate wood, it's real wood floor. The bathroom is pretty nice. We got one door that opens up here. There's a slide latch that latches over to the wall there. And then, if you turn around here, there's another latch that pulls down. And it latches into the wall here. And then you have one humongous shower. I'm not sure how I can do this. But this door opens up to make a divider between the front of the bus and the back of the bus. And when this other door opens up, it puts a divider between the bedroom and the back. But this puts this great big space here. It's hard to see on the camera, I understand. But this is a big shower. It's a nice big shower. You're not going to be in there all tinied over like you're in a little RV. Carpets are all nice. Flushable toilet. Clean ceiling. All the ceilings in the RV are very nice. There's no big water stain marks or drip or, or leaking marks or anything. If I can put this back together here. I don't know what size the dimensions of the bed are, but it's big. It's, I guess they would call it a queen walk around. You can see it's a big wide bed there. Cabinets above the bed. Carpet's all nice and clean. Got carpet halfway up the wall in the bedroom there. Cabinets on the side. Everything's nice and clean. You got speakers in the back there. So you can listen to your music on the back. I'll zoom up here a little bit. These controls on the back are what controls the difference between using the front air conditioner and the rear air conditioner on the roof of the bus. I'm assuming that somebody did that so that they could adjust it. Um. So they could run one or the other at night. They could turn one air conditioner off and leave the one on. I'm not sure. They do work. Got a big wardrobe closet there. Right outside the back bedroom. There's a table here with a mirror on it. It's got a little latch and it folds down. At the time, there's no TV in the rear of the bus little table there folds down and then there's a hole there for your cable to come through if you want to set your television on this tray Fold that back up there. Sofa, if you lift up this corner here, it's a jackknife sofa. Pulls out and folds down. It's very easy and it's very lightweight. It doesn't take any strength to your arm in order to turn it into a bed. Pull it right back up. Right. Take another shot of the roof here. There's no water stains on the ceiling or anything. It doesn't have any water damage at all in this RV. There's no water damage. The ceiling on this thing is very nice. Okay, that's the inside of the RV. Thank you.